I'd rather listen to the blues record. No offense, country fans. But I like Shania. <laughs> I'll buy her new record on Amazon. <laughs> but isn't that who God is? Isn't he just the master of all creation? Duh. <laughs> and he imparts that to us. And he says, I'm going to give you a clean slate called you. Here are the crayons. It's your choice. Scribble away. Or ask me what I think you should draw. But as he begins to decorate your world, he also inspires us to create our homes, our families, our work, our ministries. He inspires us to do that. And each one of us is called to do something unique and masterful. But if there's a stirring from God, we feel full doing it. We're not creating out of our lack. We're not creating out of fear. We're not creating out of our flesh. We're creating because the creator of all things is indwelling us and inspiring this in us. I am very fortunate to be an artist. I am very fortunate because I can always grab something and create. I am a master with crayons. Get me started finger painting. You wouldn't believe what I can do. Leave me alone in your home. <laughs> and watch what I do to your carpet. I, will, I can always find something. I can sing. I can dance. I can write. I can, I can act. Sometimes I can mime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't do mine. But <laughs> I'm very fortunate to have that in God. Very fortunate because, well, it's immediate. He says, hey, let's do, let's do this. And I'm like, I'm ready to go. Okay, you're not going to sleep for the next two nights, but it's fine. Let's just work it out. You should see the lists I've been making. I make, my gosh, I remembered so many song titles I couldn't believe I could remember. My next three records are going to have 800 songs each on them. <laughs> I mean, it was just amazing. I was like, wow, there's so much to work with. He goes, yep, lots of crayons. Let's, let's have some fun. Let's shake this up a bit. Let's look at it different. Let's do something different. Let's challenge you as you're challenging them. I'm very fortunate. But what about everyone else? God wants to create something amazing in you and have you create something amazing for them. That's who God is. And that's the God chain. But it comes from recognizing something so simple and vital. And that is... As much as we need a hug, as much as we need a burger, as much as we need financial aid, as much as we need the support systems we have created in this life, our actual sustenance comes from doing the will of Him who sent us. People say, well, I just live for God. No, 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 no. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear, I live for doing God's will. Because it encompasses living for God. It encompasses wor worshiping God. It encompasses going to church. It encompasses everything. But it also encompasses taking responsibility for your individual self. That you were created with a reason and a purpose and it's part of God's will. And if you live for God's will, you're going to make it your life's work to find out who you are and why you are and do it. I cannot stress this enough. I was at dinner tonight and we were talking about Dennis Rodman being on Celebrity Rehab. And it actually made me feel better about myself. I said, oh my gosh, I still would rather dance around in parking lots 
trying to be famous than going on celebrity rehab to be famous. Fine, thank God there's something on earth that made me feel better about myself. Thank you, Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Loser. Just kidding. Gosh. <laughs> but it seriously put things into perspective. It was like, I, it, it really did. It, it made me realize I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed just to be me doing me. Whatever that looks like. I'm so blessed. It's so fun. It's so challenging and exhausting. Sure, I wish a lot of things were different. I wish a lot of things were different. But I wouldn't wish that I were different because I have dedicated my life to sustaining myself on doing God's will. Doing the will of Him who sent me and completing what He started. And what He started was making me, me. And I have to respect that. And I have to be true to that. But I have to seek Him and ask Him why He did it and what it's good for. And so does every other living, breathing human being have to discover who they are and why they are and what they're good for. Because if not, they're just taking up space. They're not contributing. They're not giving what is so powerful and amazing and important from them. And I am convinced, I am convinced that every single human being is important. I'm convinced. I think it's so interesting how we are with animals. We are convinced that every animal deserves a home. You see a stray animal, oh my God, that poor animal deserves a home. We walk over homeless people and not even think about it. I do this. We all do this. We react different to stray animals than we do to stray humans. We do. There's something so beautiful and precious and adorable, adorable about all these helpless animals. They don't deserve their fate. They deserve to be in a home. They deserve to be spoiled. How come we don't believe that about people? How come we don't believe that about ourselves? How come we don't look in the mirror and go, you deserve to be spoiled by God. You deserve to be a star in whatever thing God created you to shine in. How come we don't do that? A lot of people look at me and say that. A lot of people look at me and go, oh my gosh, you should have a million people at your shows. Oh my gosh, the whole world needs to hear what you're saying. I hear that all the time. How come they don't say it about everyone else? I do. I do. You cannot find a time where I've received accolades and I have not said that. It's because it's true. You just can't have this spot. Okay? You can't have my street corner. I'm hustling here. It's your own corner. It was a euphemism. Gosh. <laughs> Dirty minds. Please. Believe me. You need to be sustained by God. You need to do His will, which encompasses so much. But tonight, the point is why he made you, what you're good for, and how to get from here to where he needs you. Amen? Amen. Is that off? Yes. Last night I had a booger hanging out of my nose. Oh, no, no, okay, no. and I'm singing, and it's tickling.